Hello and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we will see how to run Mule Runtime within Docker Container. I am Mohamed Akib, working as a MuleSoft Certified Developer and Integration Architect. Today's agenda is looking into the Docker file. We will see what Docker file we have and what are the commands that would, would we would run in Docker file. And then we will see some different Docker commands to build and run Mule runtime. And in the end, we will deploy a Mule application and we'll see how this works. So let's move on and start from overview of Docker file. So here we have Docker file. Now if we see the Docker file, we have very first thing that we are installing Java JDK in Docker and we are having this Docker image uh, within Docker. So when we run this Docker command, uh, the Docker command to build from this command, let's suppose when we will run this command, Docker build and, and this is the image name and then Docker file. So once this Docker file is execute, executed, very first thing will happen is that it will install the JDK image within your Docker. And then we will start installation of Mule. We will set up some uh, environment variables, right? Something like Mule version. We will set up Mule home. It will be opt slash Mule in our case. And we will also add this file in opt. And let me show you where this file exists. This file is existing exactly where this Docker file exists over here okay and then we will be running some cd part like we will change directory we will go to the opt folder we will unzip this file a zip file we will rename this file to mule and then uh, we will just uh, we will have this mule bin uh, i mean mule home bin and we will install the license so these all these all steps we don't need to do anything we only run we will only run this command this uh, build command and it will do rest of the thing for us it will create create the mule image for us and then we can straight away create the mule container i mean docker container for mule soft and then we are setting up working directory we are creating some volumes for different pieces like apps conf and domain and logs and then we are just checking uh, we are just having the license we are checking the license is installed and we are exposing here some of the ports whichever is required by MuleSoft like uh, we usually need to require 8082 and these rest of the ports we need to uh, expose from docker and then we have very interesting part that we will start the mule runtime over here so let's go to command line and we can just start running the couple of commands that i will show you now we have opened command prompt and i already have docker installed on my system you can also go to that docker website and install that for windows or linux whatever is feasible so very first thing I would see if I have any docker container running currently. Currently you see that there is no docker container running. So let's go to this command. And very first thing is that we would run this command. And this command would create Im images and containers based on the docker file description and docker file whatever commands are written in docker file i would also share the docker file link in the description of the video so let's run this and just it is if you see it is just uh, having the open jdk installed currently and through that image we would be able to run that our mule runtime so that uh, the open jdk is set up 
and that file is also run it has run all the steps like creating the unzipping the mule distribution standalone file it is uh, it has renamed and it has configured the work directory as well it is run whatever the commands were provided in docker file it is just run all of that now if we check docker ps so we still don't have docker command uh, i mean docker container currently but we already have docker image so uh, what we need to do this other step we can just copy this command and paste there this will run the uh, container so uh, notice one thing that when we build this uh, through docker file it has it might have created the uh, image here let me show you docker images here you see that we already have got this mule demo image right which was already created eight days ago but it has just replicated that again so let's just uh, copy this uh, this will run the image and through that image it would start the container and here we need to provide the image name whatever it is and here we are exposing the port we are saying that expose the port 8092 and the same port should be running in our container just copy this i will be pasting these commands in description of the video just copy this and now it is going to start the mule runtime there you go and if we go to cmd again and if i see docker ps now this time you see that uh, uh docker contain when i run the docker container command so we have got this container up and running in docker we can also check this container in docker desktop ui over here mule demo so this container is currently running the similar thing which we just saw over here and minutes ago and you can notice this the same time over here as well so now let's open in terminal and what we need to do is that we need to create a server so that we can at least deploy one of the application to mule server through docker and it would be running the server would be running in docker so we don't need to again and again go and create a separate zip file and perform separate operations so what we need to do is now we need to add a server over here and we can give it the name as server1 we can copy this command in this command we need to go to docker terminal uh, of this container and let's verify if we are in bin folder list down the uh, everything and okay let's cd2 bin and just paste those lines there you go mule agent configured successfully now if you notice over here server 1 created let's restart the runtime uh, i mean let's restart the container and this server would be running and it is already configured with our docker container so it is just configured with the docker container whatever we do uh, and uh, whatever we do in container this will be reflected to the server so in this video we are we are also configuring configuring the standalone server uh, in this this means that uh, within docker container you have your mule uh, runtime and that has been attached through this runtime manager over here so you have done uh, on prem setup uh, in this video currently so let's now restart that container we 
you can just say restart now once it has been restarted we can straight away go to any point platform and see if our server is running or not yes there you go the server one is up and running now what we need to do we can deploy a sample application to the server we can go to these applications but let me first show you what application we are going to deploy over here so this is a sample application where we are only sending the payload in response with sample customers okay so this application i have already got the jar of this application so that we would deploy over here we can say as customers select server one and we can upload that file customers just deploy application So application is deploying currently uh, we can just open the URL localhost this customers so is let's check if this has been deployed okay it is starting it is still starting okay yes the application is started and we can just refresh refresh this and yep we have got the response now this is all running through docker container this is all running through docker container you can just see over here this docker container is currently running we can open this through browser terminal or pause or store whatever you want to do all right so in the next lecture i will be showing you how we can create the cluster so currently we have this one server and the application is obviously being uh, redirected through to this one server but we would see in le next lecture that how we can achieve high availability using any point clustering so this is how you saw that we can configure the runtime in docker container and then call this this is not absolutely not running on our local system but this is being uh, this is being called through docker container because just uh, if I show you this command so we said that okay we want to expose uh, we want to expose this port and this system this should be running in docker container on 8092 as well and if I show you the code as well uh, in code I have al uh, also configured this that a listener should be configured on 8092 so docker is exposing the port for us 8092 and through that port we are calling the api and this is returning the response so this brings end of video session if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon so that you don't miss out such exciting videos in future thank you so much for watching